Hello, my name is Rachel Cherry and I am one of the physical therapists um, from Milestone Therapy that works with the Head Start sites here in Charlotte. So we are kicking off a brand new video series. Um, there'll be about three minute videos every month throughout the school year um, discussing different topics that therapists, um, so either like myself, a physical therapist or an occupational therapist, um, might find important um, for you, the kiddos in your classroom, or if you're a parent watching this, um, some things that you can implement at home so that there's kind of double carryover from school, home, and even if they work with one of our therapists. So I wanted to kick it off with a topic that I'm very passionate about. Um, I love teaching children about good posture. I think it is so important. It is the basis of good mobility. So I'm going to show you three tips um, in three different positions on how to adjust their posture. So the first one will be like if you're in circle time um, and like any, any position or activity, they'd be in like crisscross applesauce on the floor or even side sitting, and I'll show you what that is, or with their feet out in front of them, anytime they would be on the floor. So at school, that might be circle time. At home, that might be watching TV, playing with brother or sister. So I'll show you that first. So. If they're in crisscross applesauce or side sitting or with their feet out in front of them. So I'll do it in crisscross applesauce. You can see me a little bit better. But you want to start by fixing this. We don't want to see this. We want shoulders up, chest forward. And then you can also tell them to pretend if they have a little string on the top of their head and say you're going to pull, 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 pull. And what that does is that tells them to elongate their neck muscles. When you say, I'm pulling your string up, 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 be as tall as you can. That really helps just elongate the spine and activate all those muscles that they're not using when they're like this. So that's tip number one for sitting on the floor. When they're in standing, you might see some kids that have their feet pointed in, their knees locked out. So it kind of looks like this with their knees back. And then they could even arch their back and that indicates that their tummy muscles aren't working. So we wanna tuck their bottoms under. So I'll show you that part. So we just tucked our bottom under and we're going to get our feet instead of this way or this way, we're gonna point them forward and we're gonna take our knees and instead of being locked out and back, we're gonna say loosen those knees, wiggle, 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 wiggle. That turns their posture nice and tall, pelvis tucked under into this. So I'll show you from the side. So it takes them from this to this. Super nice and tall, aligned, that's exactly what we want. So the third one will be in sitting. So I'll show you from the side because that's the easiest way. So typically when kids are sitting, sometimes you'll see this. That's very common when looking at the iPad. <laughs> or sometimes you'll see them just laying on the table like this. Neither one of those is great for their posture. So, and we don't want them all the way back either because that's not really benefiting them and using these muscles that they were designed to use. So we want them to scoot out just a little bit so that there's a little room between the back of the chair. Sit up nice and tall, so none of this, none of this. We want them nice and tall. The same thing, pull that string up through the top of their head and then they're ready to do something on the computer. They're ready to draw, they're ready to cut with scissors, they're ready to you know, make beautiful crafts in this great position. And you also want to make sure that if they have short legs, sometimes that can leave their feet dangling and we don't want that. So if they have, if they're short or they are at a taller table and if you have something around that you can just slip under their feet, like a shoe box, um, blocks, anything like that to get them to where they're right angle here and a right angle here, just like me, then they're going to be set up so much better for successful table time. All right, well if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of your Head Start um, therapists, whether it's an OT, an occupational therapist, or a PT physical therapist. All of our contact information is available at milestonetherapyinc.com. All right, thanks guys, have a great day.